I agree that the, that the problem will not be ultimately solved. If there are these insoluble situations where we have to we we have to we have to see that problem solved in in the run of history when we get housing integration on a broad level. And I think that, that this is an area where we must work as hard, you know, to solve the problem of residential segregation as we do to integrate the schools. However, where, wherever schools can be integrated uh, through the busing method and where it won't be just a, a terrible inconvenience, I think it ought to be done because I think the inconveniences of a segregated education are much greater than the inconveniences of uh, busing students so that they can get an integrated quality education. Now, you were referring to white and Negro students both in this matter of right. uh, inconvenience. Both are having short change, as it were. That's right. right. Oh, yes. Yes, exactly. It's not just the Negro being given a chance to be with a white child or going to a better school. It's a question of the white child's own relationship to himself and to Negroes, too. That's right. In other words, my I feel that when a white child goes to school only with white children, unconsciously that child grows up in many instances devoid of a world perspective. There is an unconscious provincialism and uh, it can develop into an unconscious superiority complex just as a Negro develops an unconscious inferiority complex. And it seems to me that one must, that our society must come to see that this whole question of, of uh, integration is not merely a matter of uh, quantity, having the same this and that uh, in terms of a building, or a desk, or this, but it's a matter of quality. It's, if I can't communicate with a man, I'm not equal to him. It's not only a matter of mathematics, it's a matter of psychology and philosophy.